Jennifer's best long jump distance increased by 10% from 1990 to 1991 and 20% from 1991 to 1992. By what percent did her best long jump distance increase from 1990 to 1992? So by what percent did her best long jump distance increase from 1990 to 1992? In order to solve this problem, you've got to remember that we start with 1990. So the BLJ for 1990 And we're going to denote that as x. So for the BLJ for 1991, for the best long jump for 1991, we're going to denote that as y. And for the best long jump of 1992, We're going to denote that as z. So, we're given that um, Jennifer's best long jump distance increased by 10% from 1990 to 1991, which means that in 1991, um, the 1991 value is 110% of x, or the value in 1990, which is 1.1 times x. y equals 110% of x, or 1.1 times x. Remember, we divide these percentages by 100 to get a decimal value. So we got 1.1 by dividing 110% by 100. Okay, and then the value in 1992 is z, and we know that it increased by 20% between uh, 1991 and 1992, so z equals 120% of y, or 1.2 of y. So now what we get is this new value, z equals 1.2 times, and we substitute in 1.1x, and this in turn equals 1.2 if we just use a calculator for this, since I'm not a number sense guy. times 1.2 we get 1.32x this means that 1992 that in 1992 the best long jump was 132% of what it was in 1990, or z equals 1.32x. So, this means that it's 32% greater than what it was in 1990. That means the correct answer is f. So what did we do? We denoted variables for the best long jump in 1990, 1991, and 1992. Um, we set up an equation based on the percentages given, 10%, 20%, 
and you, you've got to be careful don't put it as y equals 0.1x you're gonna get this wrong answer you're gonna get k instead I did that the first time and then I realized my mistake it's 1.1x because when when we increase by 10 percent that means that it's becoming 110 percent of what it was in, in, in the past so we know that y equals 110 percent of x and we know that z equals 120 percent of y and then we substitute in those values into the equation and we get 1.32x 1.32 is a 132% of x. So that that's the same thing. 1.32 of times x is the same thing as 132% of x, which means that from 1990 to 1992 the long jump distance increased by 32%. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't hesitate to subscribe and don't hesitate to contact me at debarshikundu0 at gmail.com. D E B A R S H I K U N D U zero at gmail dot com. Thank you.